young lady who was from Ethiopia. She was fourth in 2014 here in Los Angeles. Uh, she was second just uh, in January at the Houston Marathon. Here at Tayet Degefa. A true road racer, uh, winner of the Grandma's Marathon in Duluth, Minnesota last year, and also winner in Sacramento of the California International Marathon from Kenya, Sarah Kiptu. And finally, from our American contingent from Helena, Montana, uh, fifth in Los Angeles in 2015, this is Heather Leiber. Heather, we'll begin, uh, begin with you. How, would, how did Gasparilla, which is one of the great half marathon, how did that tune-up race prepare you for Los Angeles? How do you feel? I feel um, actually really good. I had a pretty severe um, sacral fracture right before Chicago, which really bummed me out. And, last fall? And Yep, yeah, last mm -hmm. fall. So um, I'm just coming off of, you know, training, healthy training, and Gasparilla, being from Montana, we've had a horrible winter. So it's a lot of treadmills. And so I was just going to Gasparilla to do practice and marathon pace. I wasn't going to for the win or whatever. I just wanted some dry land training. So it was nice to be on um, the ground and not a moving belt. So. <laughs> Bad winter in Helena, who'd have thought? Uh, Sarah, may I ask you, Azalea Trail and uh, Beta Breakers, the big race in San Francisco and all over the place. But you won Grandma's Marathon in Duluth, another old line race, and then California International up in Sacramento. Uh, you run a lot of races. You were second also at the Twin Cities Marathon last year. Why so many marathons? Yeah, I came to realize sometimes when you feel like you're strong and you can do something, then I just use that time. Like, do, you, do you live in the United States? Yeah, I, I live in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Albuquerque? And, no, Santa Fe. Oh, Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the time. But this time after CIM, I went home for training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I only do three marathons a year and some road races in between for speed work. And how, what is your memory of Los Angeles when you uh, came here last time and got finished fourth? This is my first time here. So oh, it is. Oh, Eric yeah. was for This is your first time here. Yeah, this is my first time here. So I have heard about this race, and I came to feel like, oh, I think I have to get in here. So it was interesting anyway. They say it's flat course. Some they say it's up and down. <laughs> but you know, if you are an athlete, you have to be ready for anything. Yeah. So I'm excited to be here, and I'm thank very thankful for the organizers and the old people who bring me back here. And your shape is good? Yeah, I feel, I'm not quite sure, but I feel like I'll do my best on Sunday. All right, great. And for Tyatt, how would you compare your condition now after recovering from Houston? Talk into the microphone. Houston, So she did one for 2014, but in Houston it was just a little bit, uh, the weather was as warm, and uh, she was prepared, and then now she is because she still had that feeling in her in, in, in Houston, so she's more prepared now. And what part of Ethiopia does she come from? Does she live in Addis, or does she come from outside Addis? RC, perhaps? I live in New Mexico, Albuquerque. You live in Albuquerque? <laughs> but what part of Ethiopia do you come to? Is your home, where, where is your home in Ethiopia? Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. So she's uh, from Addis Ababa, but she's been in New Mexico now almost for one year. One year, and how do you how do you like it? So the New Mexico has high elevation, so it's very similar to Ethiopia, so it's easier for her to practice there. You know, many people think that uh, Addis Ababa has very similar weather to Los Angeles. It's just not the altitude is the same. But I think you're going to really like Los Angeles as well. Yeah, 
ትንሽ ብዙ ጥሩ ላይ ሰርቱ ከዛ እንግዲህ ራሱ አራተኛ ሞጣቴ ለኔ ጥሩ ደስታ ነው So she says she likes Los Angeles that she was here 2014 so she ran even though she took the fourth place and she likes it and then she ran after that someone else uh, was it one yeah. prior to uh, the 2014 uh, LA marathon she ran somewhere else uh, so so she did run uh, had a good time when she ran uh, the 2000 2 hours and 26 that 226 right so she's got the fastest pr in the field so it looks like right now and also uh, both our medical director Glenn Alt and uh, Eric Scott from the fire department and Tracy will be back for your availabilities as well so thanks for joining us and the best weekend ahead for everyone for this 30 second running of the Skechers performance Los Angeles marathon thank you, thank you. I'm a second hour.